Well, hi there, everybody. Good morning to meteorologist Travis Glineski on this Friday morning where we have just a couple of clouds out there this morning, otherwise plenty of sunshine. There is a boundary in our area kind of situated about right here. If you want to call it a cold front, you can. It doesn't really separate much cooler air. There is going to be some slightly cooler air to the northwest today, but either side of that front is going to be pretty hot. The problem is right around that boundary is probably going to be or there's good moisture pooling today, especially in the east. So it's going to be a little on the humid side again for most of us today. But lots of sunshine expected through today, and it now looks like the chance of storms late this afternoon is almost zero. Uh, a few models yesterday were hinting at some isolated storms trying to fire up late in the afternoon. It's now looking like we'll probably hold off until the evening and overnight tonight. Storms fire up out to our west and then push east across the area overnight tonight through early tomorrow morning. Could be some nasty thunderstorms for a few folks out there. Might be some rain, which would be nice at least to get some rain out there. And as we get into tomorrow morning, we're going to be down to some slight chances of lingering showers and storms. I think northern and eastern areas have had the best chance, a small chance around the Tri-Cities, even lower chances as you go farther to the west and southwest from there. Well, as we look ahead to tomorrow, we're going to be getting back to mostly sunny skies. Yes, maybe some early morning lingering showers right in here early in the day in eastern Nebraska, but by the afternoon it's getting back to mostly sunny skies. Now this model for tomorrow night doesn't have much for most of us, but there is going to be another chance of rain and thunderstorms tomorrow night through early on Sunday morning. This model is mostly pointing to the northeast, but I'll tell you right now that other models are a little farther west with that chance here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you one more model. I'm going to go into our editor mode real quick here and show you one other model maybe two other models we'll see here so my camera shot's going to be off screen here you'll be able to see it though this is today and then tonight here comes the storm chances later tonight through early tomorrow morning there's the lingering stuff to start off our saturday morning again we still have a small chance in the tri-cities tomorrow morning drier in the afternoon and then here comes another slight chance of rain and thunderstorms tomorrow night that's the that's as far out as the forecast model goes is right there till 1 a.m one final forecast model. This is the uh, NAM Nest model here. I'll back this up real quick here. Get, the, uh, get that loaded in. So again, today, a few clouds clearing out, lots of sunshine today. And then here comes the slight chance of showers and storms tonight into to early tomorrow morning. The chance is better after midnight tonight. I'll tell you that right now. Still some lingering stuff tomorrow morning, less of a chance in the afternoon, but a few more showers and storms may fire up tomorrow night through early on Sunday morning. So again, models are kind of inconsistent. They're not giving us the best idea of how things will play out. I think tonight's chance looks decent. So we do have a marginal risk of severe storms for most of the local four viewing area. The higher threat is gonna to be to our northeast here, especially up here in southeast South, South Dakota into far northeast Nebraska, and then going eastward could be a damaging wind gust threat rolling east all the way to the Great Lakes later today and into tonight. Most of us, a threat for large hail and damaging wind gusts overnight. Tomorrow, again, you saw it from my in-house forecast model, which really targeted this area right here tomorrow night. But uh, the Storm Prediction Center's thinking is that storms could fire up up in the Black Hills area and then push southeastward Saturday night and early Sunday morning. So a higher threat the farther northwest that you go with that, mainly looking at wind and hail. Otherwise, the big story today is, again, all about the heat. And for those the farther east you go, it's the humidity as well. Another day with an excessive heat warning in place in the magenta-shaded counties. What this means is that the heat index could get as high as 105 to 115. And again, I think the worst of it's going to be over far eastern Nebraska. These will expire at 9 o'clock this evening in most spots. That said, our northern Kansas counties here, and it's hard to see because the block is a little bit off here, and my, my ugly mug is covering it, but that actually goes again tomorrow afternoon and evening in northern Kansas because it could be another hot day on Saturday in the southern parts of the area. These orange-shaded areas here, they aren't, there's nothing pointing to them, but they are a heat advisory. Basically, what that means is heat index values may get up around 105 or so later this afternoon and this evening for the same time frames through 9 o'clock this evening. Going to be a hot one today. Again, actual air temperatures, mid to upper 90s, low to mid 100s. Within three degrees of a record high in Grand Island and Hastings, if this were to come true right here. A little bit cooler to the northwest, low 90s, upper 80s there. Still feeling pretty toasty, though. Tomorrow morning, we'll dip back into the 60s and lower 70s. Highs on Saturday, a lot more 80s out there, although we still could get to 90 or better across southern Nebraska, northern Kansas. Still some heat 
out there in northern Kansas, mid-90s around Smith Center. But a lot of relief up to the north. Tomorrow night into Sunday morning, down into the 60s for overnight lows near 70 in northern Kansas. And then your Sunday, still 80s for most of us. Low to mid-80s, upper 80s right in here in the Tri-Cities area, but there come the low 90s right in here. And then it's going to get hot again into next week as the heat builds back in. So, hot today, but it might be the last of the triple-digit heat for the Tri-Cities in the extended forecast. We're down into the upper 80s over the weekend. That's pretty close to average. Low 90s on Monday, and then the hottest days will be Tuesday and Wednesday back into the mid-90s. Nearly nightly chances of showers and storms, but that looks way wetter than what will actually happen. Most nights, most of us will miss out. So these aren't great chances by any means. The better chances are the 30% chance nights, but even then, those are not guarantees by any means. The late week cool down later next week looks like it might slow down a little bit here. Latest forecast trends are to keep the heat around a little bit into Thursday. So I'm still going to go with lower 90s in there. But eventually it is going to come here. Late next week, temperatures will be sliding back down to near and maybe even a little bit below average into the first weekend of August. So a little bit of relief from the heat could be just down the road. Well, there you go for today here. I want to thank you all for watching on this Friday morning. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Take advantage of the uh, slight cool down that's coming for your Saturday and Sunday. I'll see you all again on Monday with all the latest. Take care and God bless. Bye.